Hey guys and welcome back. So today we are going to work on some shoes that were sent in to us by a uh, viewer. Uh, he sent this beautiful pair of Edward Green uh, Capto Oxfords in to us. Absolutely beautiful shoes. Uh, the soles and everything are almost brand new on here, but he wanted to add some Lulu toe plates uh, for added protection. Now, if you haven't seen our other video that we did a few months ago on how to best protect the uh, bottoms of your shoes, I'll put a link to that video above. Definitely check that out uh, because it goes over different things that we recommend, again, to protect the bottoms of your shoes, uh, you know, your soles, your heels, uh, so that they don't wear down as quickly. But anyways, I just want to kind of take you behind the scenes and watch, let you watch us do that, and that's what we're going to do now. So let's get started. All right, so we have cut out the uh, the toe portion so that the plate can actually sit down flush with the leather. Um, now, a lot of times when you're adding plates to an existing sole that's already owned, you're going to wind up cutting some of those stitches that actually hold the sole on. When you're adding, when you when you're putting a you know replacing the sole, putting in the plate on, when you're putting the sole on, it's no big deal. We can just glue it on, trim it around, cut this out, and then stitch it and the stitches will just go down into this little cutout portion and then they sit right on top of the stitches. But this is an existing sole. Um, it's not that big a deal um, if you cut the stitches strictly because these stitches are very, very, very tight into this leather. Uh, there's two type of threads that are locked like this into this tiny hole and they're, they're very tight. But just a little, add a little, um, a little extra security. I like to put this little bit of hardening glue uh, right on it actually soaks down to the leather into the fibers of those stitches and locks them in place. You can pull out the stitches but then you're gonna see where it, you know it starts and it ends and it's just best to leave the originals in there. So that's what this little bit is. That's just where I soak down to the leather and harden it and it locks them in there. So now that those stitches aren't going anywhere. I can go ahead and put my plate on. pilot hole and then these are just held on by little brass screws so these things are can only come in certain sizes and you're hardly ever going to get them to where they're the perfect shape so you find the closest one and then you have to sand off this excess All right guys, so we have finished up with these toe taps. Uh, like I said, this is a quick, short, and easy video for us, but we just wanted to uh, let you know again that there are ways to prevent your shoes from wearing down faster. And the having the metal toe taps up at the front is definitely seems to be a popular one. We get a lot of those into our shop. Again, you can also get hard plastic ones that are much easier to install. Uh, the thing about the plastic ones, again, if you, you know, those are just, you know, glue or you just stick those on, put some tacks in it, and then they can peel off a lot easier. These on these Edward Greens, as you can see, we've got them on there and these are actually screwed in. So if you take these off, you know, as you saw in the video, we actually had to cut out the leather on the sole. So those are a little more permanent per se, uh, but they hold up a lot longer. So again, there's different, you know, different options you can choose from, but this is a popular route that a lot of folks go, especially with really nice shoes. Again, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up just to let us know that you like it. And also leave us a comment down below if there's anything you wanna ask. We try to get back to as many of those as possible. Subscribe to our channel as we always have a lot more of these videos coming. And until next time, guys, have a great day.